Welcome to Crema Media's Resources Watch, a weekly video roundup of the events and people making and shaping the news in the mining industry. This week, Glencore Extrata takes an $8.5 billion impairment charge. There's an exciting diamond find in Liberia, and the Waterberg opens up to Exaro as the Transnet expansion gains traction. Diversified major Glencore Extrata has reported an $8.9 billion interim loss as it booked a $7.7 billion write-down on assets inherited from the merger with Extrata in May this year. Pummeled by billions of dollars in write-down since the start of the year, with cooling prices and dented demand, two mining giants reveal their half-year results. A write-down of assets inherited from minor Extrata cost Glencore Extrata over $7.5 billion. It announced a 9% drop in core profit. But improved output from mining operations in copper and coal helped to cushion the full impact of weaker prices. It says its half-year core profit totals $6 billion, at the higher end of analyst estimates. Glencore, which completed its record-breaking acquisition of minor extrata in May, says progress on the integration of the group is exceeding expectations. Shares in the company were down over 3.5% in early trade, underperforming a 2.7% drop in the wider sector. An exciting diamond find has been made in Liberia, says Incubex Minerals Chief Operating Officer Dr. John Bristow. He said the discovery of what appears to be a kimberlite pipe had been made by South African-born geologist Steve Haggerty, CEO and Chief Exploration Officer of Yusuf Diamond Mining Company. Well, the company is Yusuf Diamond uh, Mining Corporation, YDMC. And I'm talking really on behalf of Steve Haggerty, who's a dyed-in-the-wool diamond kimberlite geologist. He's been in this business for 30, 40 odd years. And he's worked since the 1970s in Liberia and come across in that time uh, uh, six clusters of kimberlite fissures. And then in the last year, they've discovered what they think is a, is a small kimberlite pipe, which is particularly exciting for that area because it's been known to produce a large number of big alluvial diamonds, lots of alluvial activity. Um, they've known about the fissures and now they're onto a pipe. JSE listed Exaro said it was optimistic about the action on the ground at state-owned Transnet Freight Rail as it progressed plans to expand capacity on the existing rail network out of the Waterberg coal region. You know, Exaro has been working constructively with, uh, with TFR, you know, over the last, I would say, 18 months to two years, and so far as looking at to how we can um, open up the water group. But we recognize the fact that, you know, there are other aspirant mining companies which are also in the water group, and therefore we have actually created a forum whereby all potential miners within the water group, including ourselves there, are engaging with TFR in terms of finding a solution to unlocking the water work. For mining news as it breaks, stay logged onto miningweekly.com and register for our free daily newsletter.